Okay guys, I don't know what number it is, but here we go with a medical rant. Dum, dum, dum. Hope it's not TMI and hope y'all enjoy. Uh, so a lot of people are asking what happened at the doctors because we didn't, we didn't really, talk about it. We didn't yeah. really talk about it. All they did was um, some blood work. I went in and I told the doctor, I said, I know doctors hate when, I, when people self-diagnose themselves. I said, but I'm not getting anywhere with any doctors doing anything, any tests. So I investigated some stuff and here's what I want you to test me for. And I named off some autoimmune diseases and whatnot. And he says, well, some of those do make some sense with all of your other symptoms. So yeah, let, let, let's do that. So... They ran a whole bunch of tests, and yeah. he's uh, off tomorrow. Today's Thursday, right? Today's Friday, I think, isn't today's it? Friday. Today's Friday? Hold on. Oh, What's today? What What's today? today? Today's no, today's Thursday. Thursday. He's there today, but the tests were just done yesterday. Um, we're getting some of them back, but not all of them yet. Um, and he's off tomorrow, so we won't hear anything back until Monday at this point. Um, from what some of the comments are, some people still don't understand exactly what's going on. Um, so I'm going to just be blunt, <laughs> okay, <laughs> instead of beating around the, the perver proverbial, proverbial bush. bush yes. <laughs> I am, we do not know why. I am completely swelling up inside my vagina and inside my rectum. We do not know why I am completely swollen. It is so swollen, it is putting pressure on my hips and on my tailbone and my lower back. And it's starting now to affect my legs. And it's extremely hard for me to walk. Um, it's hard for me to even stand up and make myself something for breakfast. Um, so it's getting very, very hard. It's getting very, very frustrating. I'm getting very, very sick of sitting on this couch. Um, and I'm almost to the point. I know I got to keep fighting and, and keep pushing and keep pushing. Some, something similar happened to me when I had my hysterectomy. They kept telling me there was nothing wrong with me. And I kept pushing and pushing and pushing until they did an exploratory surgery and found out I had endometriosis extremely bad. And then they did had to do a full hysterectomy because it was that severe. So I know I have to keep pushing, but I'm so tired. tired of fighting with doctors. I'm so tired. We don't have the money to keep going for test after test after test after test for them to keep saying, oh, there's nothing wrong. Oh, there's nothing wrong. Oh, there's nothing wrong. When all they need to do is do an exploratory surgery and bam, I know they're going to find what's wrong. And it's so frustrating. So we want to talk about your Medicare too? Well, I'm at the point right now where I just feel like if they don't find anything at this point, I just want to give up, get a wheelchair, live the rest of my life like this, in pain, on pain medication, and at least get a wheelchair so I can get out of the house right. and go do stuff. It'll be like the guy in Breaking Bad with the little bell on his. Yeah, the <laughs> little bell. But um, they did give us some ideas about how to go around... Um, I have Medicare, yeah, and the, it, it, everything doubled on Medicare. Yep, everything year. doubled. Um, so that's part of the issue. So we spoke with my doctor's nurse, and she gave us some ideas. Um, we also called my insurance rep, and they gave us some ideas. So we are working on some other things to help get our co-pays and everything lowered. Um, so that if I do have to keep going in for all these tests and x-rays and, and 
whatnots, they won't be so expensive. And hopefully I can get that stuff done if I need them and if I decide, okay, I'll play your games and jump through your hoops and do what you want me to do, even though I know what needs to be done and you guys just don't want to listen. So, anyway, rant over. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So, Kevin and I are kind of looking around a little bit for a motorized wheelchair, just in case it does come down to that, because I do have a wheelchair. However, it is falling apart. It's not a motorized one. Poor Kevin has to push me up hills all the time. And uh, it takes its toll out on Kevin. <laughs> yes. Well, my baby girl. Finally, oh. you lick her for a while. Oh, my baby girl. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs>